Now what do we do? Like, how do you even start eating this? Disgustingness of this background. <laughs> I might have to come here every single day now. This is the longest queue I've ever seen. I'm obsessed. It feels like a dungeon. It's very dark. Hi, Hi Stan Stans. My name is Stan. Welcome to the world of Extra. And my name is Stewie. Stewie and I have severe phone addiction. And what do we do when we're addicted to our phones? Scroll on TikTok for hours. Not that TikTok is not gonna be banned soon in the US, but that's besides the point. There's a lot of tourists in Tokyo recently, and I've noticed that there are just these, like, tourist spots that a lot of people go to. Especially Ichirang Ramen, like... There's better ramen in Tokyo. But today, we are going to scroll through our TikTok for you page, and we are going to go to every single one of these places. As locals, we know the tea, and we are going to rate everything. We are going to try some food, some tourist destinations, and I'm so excited for you to hang out with us. Ah! Sujihan that serves kaisendon, which is basically a seafood rice bowl. The best thing I had on the entire trip. I ordered one that had shrimp, fatty tuna, salmon, clams, squid, and it's topped off with a mountain of uni and igra. It was so good. It was briny, comforting. <laughs> First off, we made it to this area called Kagurazaka. The TikTok we saw recommended this place in Nihonbashi. It's called Tsujihang. But they actually have a bunch of branches in Japan. And the Nihonbashi one is the viral one. But I found this one in Kagurazaka. The station is Idabashi Station. And we are going to go walk to Tsujihang. Of course, the restaurant had to be on a cliff, right? We got there 20 minutes before opening. But there were already two groups waiting in front of us. The restaurant itself is behind this door. And I would say it's actually a very discreet place. We were allowed to order while waiting in line. Of course, they had to get the most expensive Supreme Court. They also give you instructions on how to enjoy your meal. After waiting for about 10 more minutes, we were ushered inside to this beautiful, stunning restaurant. The restaurant was super intimate with about only 10 seats. When we got sat down, there was already sashimi waiting for us. I really don't know what possesses me every time we go to a serious, silent restaurant. But literally, all I want to do is laugh out loud. <laughs> The sashimi was delicious. It was super fresh. It wasn't fishy at all. You can really ensure the freshness of everything because they prepared it right in front of you. Remember the instructions earlier? Yeah, we didn't read that. Well, apparently, you're supposed to leave two pieces of sashimi for the broth later. <laughs> well, looks like como se dice, I don't give I don't a fuck. We were seeing the entire process of making the bowls, and we were getting so hungry. Wow, this is the Supreme Course. It has cod roast, sushi, uni, the fuck, the fuck, the fuck, Sebastian from Little Mermaid, the fuck. We were genuinely so shook, we just started laughing. <laughs> like, how do you even start eating this? I decided to just pour some soy sauce and flatten everything together. Bon appetit! <laughs> I honestly have no words, you guys. Like, this is so delicious. Like, I really could not stop. We were having a mouse moment in this restaurant, you guys. So apparently, like, when your bowl is one-third full, you have to ask for taidashi, which is a bream broth. I don't know what that is, but... <laughs> After you ask for the broth and extra rice, which is free of charge, it is pretty much a second meal. And this has been something I've done for years, but having soup to close off a meal is the perfect thing. We were so shook because it's the same bowl, but it's completely different flavor profile. Whoever made this restaurant, I hope, I hope someone's, someone's eating your ass. ass. Oh my god, you guys. That was honestly one of the best meals I've had. Me too. It was so premium. First of all, I noticed that it's not only foreigners and tourists going there. There were also Japanese people there, so I think I think it's also popular among locals. The fresh was the, the fresh was super fish. <laughs> the fish was super fresh. And I love that you get like two meals in one almost. Wait, I didn't know you could do that. Like just put broth into a bowl of like fish and then it just turns into a new meal. That's right. so cool. It's like ochazuke vibes. Yeah, with fish in it. Yeah. Coming in, I didn't have any expectations. I was gonna be so fucking sour this entire video. I was about to be like, I'm so excited to drag these tourist destinations. This video really started off strong. That is a 10 out of 10 for sure. To be as someone who's picky when it comes to seafood, did you like the fish? He hated it. <laughs> I really did like the fish. Like the flavors were really good. But, um... You better stop, stop! Generally speaking, I don't really like the flavor of fish. Like, I don't like fishy tastes. But that bowl, that meal was so good. We, we would, would rate, rate this a we recommend out of 10. So there's a place that Michael took me to where you can get these 10 yen edible coins. It's on the first floor of the Mega Don Quixote store in Shibuya. A huge butter looking stick of mozzarella is added to the batter inside the mold. If you like bread and you like cheese, then this is for you. We have made it to Shibuya. You guys can tell by the disgustingness of this background. <laughs> <laughs> 
One of the things that I always see on TikTok are these 10 yen cheese coins. I always see them, and there's such a long line every time I see a stand for that. So finally today, we are going to try it. I honestly don't get the hype, but maybe we will if we try it. I've never tried it before either, so I'm really curious how it tastes. And I know there's one on the first floor of uh, Don Quixote, so we're gonna go there right now. Yeah! Because it's so viral, there's actually a couple of stands even just within the area. But we went to the one in Mega Donkey in Shibuya. It was a random weekday morning, but there was already a lot of people lining up. I didn't realize how expensive these were. These were 500 yen. But you basically just order with a machine and line up. I don't know what possessed me to think it would be 10 yen, but it's actually 500 yen. What That's a five rice balls for this fucking 10 yen coin ass cheese ass piece of shit. <laughs> Five dollars. With that said, everything is made fresh in front of you. They were also selling these candy strawberries. <sighs> so I got my 500 yen worth of 10 yen coin. <laughs> and we also ended up just getting a tanguru. <laughs> it's also trending on TikTok everywhere, we especially true. in Korea. I don't know how yummy it will be because we all know. Let's just be honest with ourselves. I know mozzarella cheese is like probably the most popular cheese in the entire world, but let's just be real with ourselves. Mozzarella cheese does not taste like anything. Does not taste like anything. <laughs> what I see them do online is like pull it like this. Oh, 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 oh no. Now what do we do? Easy. Okay. Because I paid 500 yen for this, I already have a bias of like not liking it, but like taste wise, it's good. Okay. The batter is really good. The batter is really good. Yeah. I think it's literally like taiyaki in the shape of a yen coin. Mm, I'm not sure though if I would recommend this. If you're in Japan, get taiyaki. Taiyaki is that fish shaped one. Get that. That's very Japanese. This isn't necessarily Japanese, it's just the shape of a yen coin. And mozzarella cheese, that's like not Japan at all. And if the line was longer, it wouldn't be worth it. Yeah. And honestly, I prefer Korean hot dog. The amount of cheese in this factory is kind of making me sick of it. It's good. <laughs> Oop. <laughs> Too much cheese. <laughs> it's good, but 500 yen? Mm, I think not. Do you know how much 500 yen is to a student? 500 yen is one gyudong from Matsuya. A rice bowl, beef rice bowl. And a dessert after at a convenience store. Yeah. Or that can literally be like a set meal in Yoshinoya. Yeah. That can literally be three onigiri and one spicy chicken. I mean, I'm not telling you not to try it. The cheese pool was really fun. But after that, it's like, okay, okay, let me try this. <laughs> oh, it's hard. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I fucking love it. Mm. Oh, it sounds so good. O M F G. <gasps> oh, wait, this is smart. They ate. Elon Musk, who? <laughs> <laughs> mm. That is so mm. delicious. Another time. Cheese one? I would rate it, uh, there are other different, better, yummier, more Japanese alternatives than this fucking 500 yen, 10 yen coin. Out of 10. Okay, let's move on to the next tourist trap. <laughs> Before we go into our next destination, I just wanted to quickly come to Family Mart to get a digestion drink because I feel like we'll just be eating all day. You guys know when I did a convenience store video too, I had to get one of those because I was just so scared of uh, eating shit for the whole day. Found one. I honestly don't know what it is and I honestly don't know if it's even good for you, but it helps with digestion, so. Japan is a pill for everything. Hangover, overeating, depression. The next place we're going to is a cafe. What really attracted me to this place is their cake. Strawberry shortcake is my favorite cake ever, and their strawberry shortcake just looks so premium and delicious. We have to go there. And I'm so excited for some coffee, some afternoon pick-me-up. coffee was in this little corner in Aoyama and it was surprisingly really small. Unfortunately, they sold out of their viral strawberry shortcake. So we decided to get other popular things instead. I love the aesthetic here. The store is actually smaller than I thought. Also, interestingly, there's not any foreigners. It's Ooh. all Japanese locals here. This place kind of went viral among Japanese people in Japanese TikTok. So maybe that's why it's more Japanese people. But I swear there were actually a few foreigners as well. My theory is it was busy this morning. That's why they sold out of their shortcake. Literally this place went viral for their shortcake. And now, and now that it's gone, no one wants to come here. <laughs> Can you just make us one? I 
<laughs> Yay, our food came. I got myself a hazelnut oat milk latte. And I got myself a chai tea latte with oat milk and a shot. For dessert, because they ran out of the shortcake, we just got two different ones and they look just as delicious. And come on, let's be real. Showing you guys one shortcake, it's literally just white and a strawberry on top. Showing you guys instead of that, we're showing you two. So please be grateful. We don't care that they ran out of the shortcake. <laughs> Everyone, please shut up. Cheers, Cheers to that. Oh my god. I'm not even exaggerating. I might have to come here every single day now. This is hazelnut coffee. Try this one. Don't even one. fucking play with me. This coffee is so good. Let's try the dessert. This one is a brownie, and you can opt to add ice cream on top. Oh. It's a warm brownie. <gasps> Get that grenade out of here. <laughs> As you guys can see here, the texture is very like crumbly brownie. It's not really like soft and gooey brownie. I personally prefer soft and gooey. This one is a little bit dry. Personally, it's a little bit too starchy, I would say. Not the best, best, best brownie, but you don't really come here for the brownie. It's the strawberry shortcake and the coffee. I would rate this brownie a 7 out of 10. Blueberry cheese muffin. Oh, yeah. Mm. If you guys come here, get this. Never been done. Cheese blueberry muffin. Not just no fucking muffin. Mm. Later on, we are going to go to the most famous ramen store chain in all of Japan to foreigners. If you guys have come to Japan, you guys will know about Ichidang Ramen. We are going to go there and we are going to be super, super brutally honest. But we are going to see if the hype is worth it. Because literally every single Ichidang Ramen I've been, the wait is like an hour, two hours. The lines are so long. One thing you will not see outside an Ichidang Ramen line is, is that. Is a Japanese person. I would rate that place, uh, I would recommend out of 10. Of course, we weren't able to try the strawberry shortcake that we came for, but the coffee genuinely was so, so good. Both coffees were 5 million out of 2. Also, let's just address the elephant in the room. I did get a hat and got 111 embroidered on this side. It was just so windy today. We both had to wear hats because it was just so windy. Anyway, that place was called Botta Coffee. One of the places I wanted to try out was this place called I'm Donut. But look at the queue. This is the longest queue I've ever seen. That's literally all for the donut place. Do you guys see it? This is the best place to shop for skincare and makeup in Tokyo. They have everything from Japanese to European and Korean makeup brands. Make sure you check out the best cosmetic award when you first walk in. That place, it's been so viral everywhere, and it's just like a normal, massive skincare and makeup store here in Japan. But like recently, a lot of tourists are like, oh, if you want any skincare or anything in Japan, you have to come to Atto Kosume. Let's see what the hype is. I also go there a lot, but let me tell you guys the tea. Let's go to Harajuku. We made it to Atto Kosume. They actually don't allow filming inside, but as a YouTuber, if there's anything I'm really good at, it's filming at places I'm not allowed to film. It's all for you guys, so please don't clock me. We're gonna go in there. I'm gonna show you guys the products in there and I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion about the place and if I hate it just in case, I will give you guys better alternatives because this place is actually really crowded. <laughs> la, la, la. I think one of the best things people love about this place is this wall of ranking. Atto Kosume used to be just this website where you can see all the best products, all the rankings of all the best beauty products, skincare products in Japan. But you can actually just look that up online. You don't have to like come here and then line up really long here because this is like an online ranking thing. As you can see here, it says like this is number one best mascara and it's Maybelline. Really? <laughs> number one best perfume in Japan right now, English Pear and Freesia by Jo Malone. 2023 best concealer, Dior Forever Skin Correct. Literally one of my favorite perfumes ever is Replica by Maison Margiela, the fireplace one. I love this perfume. The main thing we come here to do usually is blot our faces after a long day in Harajuku. These mirrors are perfect for that. <laughs> do you guys see how crowded this place is? There's also a weekly ranking that changes every single week. Let's see what's in this week. I love that they also have the evaluation, the ranking, the stars, the amount of reviews, everything, every information. They have drugstore products, but they also have all the high-end products here as well, and it's two stories. Hair care, body care, face care, Skin care, mental care. <laughs> you can also try out like washing your hands and stuff. Tom Ford, Dior, Mac, Valentino. What is that? I have no clue. 
Yes. So who is this place for? Honestly, if you love trying out new beauty products and new skincare products and you don't exactly know what to get and you just love going into a store and looking at rankings and everything, this place would be it. If you guys are in Harajuku and you guys want high-end makeup, high-end skincare, you guys should come here. They do carry drugstore products as well. But if you're only going to get drugstore products anyway, just go to Matsumoto Kyoji, which is right here. The queue is so much shorter. And there's actually a better drugstore, which is probably like 50 steps from here, that direction. You guys should come here to Sugi Yakyoku instead. It's literally one minute from Atokozume. It's also everywhere. Look how much quieter it is here. They literally carry every single drugstore product as well. And I might be wrong, but I think it's also cheaper here. They also have snacks, they have drinks, they have vitamins, skincare, makeup. It's also two stories. This place is massive. And if you don't believe me, literally it's empty here and look how massive. The best mascara in Japan from Atto Kosume that was literally just Maybelline. We have a whole place here. I love that this place also has viral Korean makeup as well. This is Jibi and I's favorite little lip tint. It's very watery and it doesn't make your lips sticky. Like I literally have it right now. Literally. <laughs> it's from Ram and When I say they literally carry everything, they literally do. The Hada Labo Premium the Viral one, the Hyaluronic Acid. They have it here too. Cockroach Pussy. <laughs> so yeah, Jibi and I honestly love this place so much. We also have a point card here. <laughs> I do, I do. <laughs> you guys should definitely go to Atto Cosme for a luxury makeup and luxury skincare. So my advice for you is like before you come to Japan, just look up all the skincare products you want. It's most likely going to be drugstore because it's like Japanese skincare. Not sponsored by the way. I'm sucking Sugiyakuku's dick. <laughs> and also, why would you come to Japan and get like Dior lip oil? You have that in fucking Ulta. <laughs> yeah, true. Anyway, I would rate Atto Kosume. Honestly, uh, if you wanna buy high-end skincare, go there out of time. And Sugiyakuku, there's, no, there's place no place like, like home. home. Out of time. Anyway, let's go. Today I'm gonna be showing you a temple. What's so special about this temple? It's cats. Cats and cats everywhere. This place is called Gotoku Temple and it's located in Tokyo. You can even buy your own cat at the reception. Next stop is the really famous cat temple. I'm sure you guys have seen it on TikTok as well. There's been a lot of viral TikToks going around. This place is called Gotokuji. <gasps> At Gotokuji Station, you're already greeted by a manekineko or a lucky cat. It's a little bit of a ways away. We have to walk around 20 minutes from the station. It's currently 4.30 p.m. and the temple actually closes at 5. So we're just gay walking. Nothing new. <laughs> so pretty much we're just walking like normal. <laughs> I thought it would kind of be underwhelming because it's just like a little corner here but just like the amount of manekineko and like the different sizes I'm like shook I'm just so in love with the little corner here it's just so cute it's just so cute especially because recently I've just been in my cat era if I were to get a pet I would still get a dog but I just love looking at cats and like cat videos and stuff you can kind of tell like they're all different ages and they all have different eyebrows and like whiskers too like they all have like their own little unique feature that changes them I'm obsessed we stayed until closing you guys they literally had to kick us out i asked them normally you could buy the cats too the maneki neko i'm thinking of coming back here to just like buy one of those it would be perfect for my living room apparently you can only buy it from 8 a.m to 3 p.m yes so be careful of that don't come literally at closing but like it's also the quietest at closing so that's a little high <laughs> <sighs> would I recommend this place? For sure. The temple actually was massive. If we came here earlier, we could also explore like the entire thing. There was like a place to write down your wishes and stuff as well, like a regular temple. We weren't able to do that because we came late and we were being kicked out. Wait, I think you could write your like notes on the cats and then put it on there. Because I saw some cats and then said like, good luck, Miss me or something. Wow, I like that. Right? We would literally give it a pause up out of 10. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
But just don't expect that it would be like the whole place is covered by mannequin nickel because it is like that little corner. I can imagine like maybe in the weekend or like peak time, it can get really crowded. There's yeah. not a lot of space to take pictures. Hmm, I'm kind of getting hungry. Oh my God. It's time, Zui. Uh-oh. <laughs> Things that make sense in Japan. In this place, you don't need to talk to anyone till you leave. You will have an isolated seat in this restaurant. Time to enjoy this beautiful ramen. Okay, Shimoki Tazawa does not feel as busy as usual. The sun is still out, but we're gonna try to line up for dinner. I think that's the best idea, so it's not too late, and the line isn't too long. I hope it's at most 15 minutes. That's all I'm giving. Oh, it doesn't seem to have a big line today, actually. Wow, we just entered. Wow. We purposefully chose the Ichidan Ramen in Shimoki Tazawa because we were just guessing that it wasn't gonna be as crowded as Shibuya or Shinjuku. We ordered the ramen with a machine, and although you can add a bunch of different toppings, they only had one type of ramen, which was Tonkotsu Ramen. We were ushered to our own little private counter, and although this spot is popular to people who want to be low, you can actually retract the divider. And you don't have to talk to anyone, you just use these cards when you want to talk to the staff. Okay, so far, it feels like a dungeon, it's very dark. <laughs> so first things first, you have to like circle your preference for everything. There's dashi, richness, garlic, green onion, chashu, everything. And then after you circle, you have to tell them. Okay, what am I gonna do? Yum, the richness. Oh! <laughs> I just circled every recommended one. I pressed the button, and the nice lady took the paper and prepared my order. Let me see your face! <laughs> Just kidding. It was actually really quick for them to make the order, but I kind of predicted that because they only made one type of ramen. Even if they don't show their face, they still bow with all due respect. <laughs> was he hot? <laughs> <laughs> and here's the iconic Ichidang Ramen. I love this. <laughs> I'm obsessed. <laughs> So you were saying though, like, is this promoting like the narrow mindedness of Japanese people? Like the loneliness? It is what it is. Whoa. Their broth is very porky and stinky. Yeah, I kind of felt that too. Right? Yeah. Their broth is very porky and stinky. Very heavy for sure. It's like really rich, but you can kind of still taste like the porkiness of it. It's you, very porky. It's so stinky. I don't hate it. I actually like stinkiness. Trying the meat. Is it good? Wait, the meat is so good. I love the noodle itself. I love the hardness of it. Hard. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> Literally that. That's also my reaction of I love the I temperature. Love the temperature. <laughs> There's only one choice, and I'm glad it's tonkotsu because you guys know tonkotsu is my favorite ramen. If you guys don't like the stink of pork though, I wouldn't recommend because yeah. there's no other choice. Very pork stinky. Takes one to no one. <laughs> <laughs> I hated it. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was amazing. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Of course, it's not gonna be horrible. Of course, it's not gonna be disgusting. It's just such an average ramen. There's so many other places. This is Japan, you guys. We invented ramen. Did we? <laughs> There's so many local ramen places for Japanese people and we just don't get the reason that you have to like line up hours to get ramen. Imagine going to France and lining up hours for a croissant. For a croissant. It's literally the same thing. That's literally it. But like the concept, I love it. Yeah. We didn't have to talk to anyone. We just had to like order, go in, sit. I guess like the little private little moment. <laughs> Like that little <laughs> mousy moment is just so fun. <laughs> if you want that experience, definitely come here. So my final verdict. Bird. <laughs> the ramen itself isn't bad. It was good. It's ramen. It's ramen. However, I wouldn't line up hours just to eat average ramen. I mean, I guess you're lining up essentially just for the experience of not having to talk to anybody. Like, that's the only thing that's different from the other ramen stores. You're gonna pay to not talk to anyone? Aren't you doing that for free? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Just kidding. Ring a bell. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I would go there if I was like passing by and there was no queue. I would be like, oh, I want some ramen. Let me go in. An hour wait for a fucking bowl of pork juice? Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We can do a part two as well. There's so many viral places on TikTok, but that's all we can do in one day. It's nighttime, so we're gonna go home and relax. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna see you guys again in my next video next week. Bye! Bye.